Here's another video for WinBid Pro version 16 by GDS Estimating. And this one I want to talk about custom entrances, something that's different than what's normally in your catalog. So we have an elevation here with no entrance. I went to the Entrances tab and I'm going to click the Add button. So I want to select a panel first before I do anything else. And I can select multiple panels. And remember, that would allow me to divide the transom into multiple lights. But in this case, I'm just going to pick a single panel. And I'm going to hit the Create New button. So anytime you add an entrance to version 16, it needs a name. So it gives it a name based on the elevation um, name that you've created, I guess. and. Uh, you can always change it to something else. So I'm just going to call it test entrance. So now you can either, you can add a door frame and then a door leaf, or you can just add a door frame and save it and call it that. So I'm going to actually add a door frame first, which you have to anyway. <laughs> and let's say I need an oddball size. So I'm just going to pick a standard uh, 3284. And I'm going to pick anything from the list. Let's call it uh, a right-handed door frame here. So then I'm going to cl click Browse for the door leaf. And it should come up with a pretty good match. So a medium style, right-handed, overhead concealed closer. So I've just created my entrance for the elevation. I'm adding it, and it draws it in, right? So it's a 3684. But if I want it to be something different, and you probably saw some of those other sizes on the filters when we were looking. But um, let's say I want it to be 38 by, you know, 88, something just oddball. I can do that just by changing the width and height and editing the, the door frame like I just did. But I also want to change the description just to know that uh, just by looking at the description that it's something different. So I'm going to say, and then I'm even going to put the size in there. So that's how I would change the door frame. The other part of this is you want to make sure your parts reflect your changes. So you would change like the standard 3684 door, you know, door part number, whatever additional part numbers there were for, you know, whatever style it is, that kind of thing. So you want to make sure all your parts reflect the door uh frame and, you know, door leaf and all that that you're using. So it's the same concept with door leaves. Um but so I'm going to save that and then I want to double check. Now you'll notice that the door leaf actually grew to the size, the new size of the door frame. So when I edit the door leaf, it actually shows me the 38 by 88, but my description doesn't reflect that. So I want to change my description. Like I said, just so that when I'm looking at it, I know that there's something different and don't get confused. Um, and this is where you can edit your default uh, style sizes and your glass bite. Remember, if you're trying to figure door glass, your glass bite and your deducts for the width and height, your threshold allowance, all that stuff has to be really dialed in so that your exact, let's call it the outside uh, dimensions of the door leaf are correct. And if the styles and rails and all that's set correctly too, then you're going to get accurate door glass sizes. Otherwise, it's just going to come out with rough sizes. So it depends on whether you're ordering off this or if you're just getting uh, estimate pricing. But um, So just like in the door frames, our package part numbers are listed here. So if I've got a custom door, I want to make sure I add whatever custom charges there are for uh, this particular size of door leaf. So after that all looks good, I would save it. And like I said, your drawing is going to reflect what your settings were. And then if I were to go in and change the door leaf size first, it's actually going to make the door frame match it. So we always want to make sure there's a matching door frame and, and door leaf combination. So this is our entrance. We just happened to change it when we added it to the elevation. But if I wanted to change it before I added it to the elevation, I could have gone up here. And I could go to Entrances, and Entrances are pre-configured. Um, the Arcadia catalog doesn't have many, so I'm just going to pick one that's here. And you'll notice even in this case, we have a pre-configured entrance here that 
is not matching so it knows there's a problem here and that's why we're getting this alert so I can actually edit that and change it here um, so that it does match so that was 4292 and now that I've matched it our little alert should go away there so you can easily edit things in this entrances window I can you know edit individual things like this I can add a new entrance from scratch just by picking a door frame and a door leaf I can copy something and then make the changes to it but the screens are all the same as the ones we were just looking at when we uh, edited changes in the elevation itself so it's it's a matter of whether you want to change it in your master list here or you know after you've added it to the job so if you change it in your master list it's going to have the changes when you're adding it to the job and if you decide to add one and then change it later that's always possible too so so keep that in mind uh, remember that the part numbers have to match the um, the changes that you made if you really want your pricing to reflect those changes so that's that's kind of key and also remember that all the by GDS marked rows here are the ones that come with the catalog and then the ones that don't have that are ones that you've either copied edited or created so um, that's pretty much it in a in a nutshell with uh, with changing and, and modifying entrances thanks very much